welcome to our Learning to Cook Pizza journey and today I'm going to make pizza dough for my outdoor pizza ovens that I use with wood and gas options. So I'll do that first. This is going to be a 62% hydration dough so that means I'll be using 500 grams of flour and 310 grams of water. So let's just do the flour first, put that in my bread maker and then I'll measure out all the other ingredients. So there's my 500 grams of pizza flour. Put that in the bread maker. I then use 155 grams of water. And to that I add nine grams of salt. So I'm just going to stir that in. until it's completely dissolved. The water's lukewarm, it's not cold. So once all that's dissolved in the water, I pour it in with flour. And get all the salt of the glass, rinse the bowl, and then add another 155 grams of water. To that I am now going to add one and a half grams of yeast. So pour the yeast into my water, stir with a spoon, once that's dissolved place in the bread maker. But what I do is I move the water with the salt in away from the yeast and I quickly mix it all together. So at this point now you can either knead by hand. For me personally I like to use my pizza option on my Panasonic bread maker. And during this pizza dough option it sort of does like proof it a bit as well. So it just comes out really lovely. And that goes. I'll show you what's happening in there. I'll come back a bit later. to cut up the dough into 200 gram balls. When I proof the dough in a room, I, I like to use my baker's tray and I've got a lid for that. So I'll just put them into dough balls and then put them in the baker's tray. I normally proof using this box. It's like a bulk proof. And then I will put that in a room and then I'll put it in a fridge. I don't have room for this in the fridge. So I only use this when I room proof only. But there's also the option of proofing in these little tubs these little lids. So I'm going to use for today a bit of everything. <laughs> I'm going to do a few batches. Um, I'm going to put some in these bowls. I'm going to put another batch in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use my baker's tray today. I'll see how it goes. Out of the 500 grams of flour and the 310 grams of water, I've got three 200 gram dough balls and 185 gram dough ball. So that's quite a lot of pizza. Um, I'm going to put the lids on these now. I'm going to proof them for 24 hours. And this is what it looks like when I've made some dough and I'm going to bulk proof it. So I just put the dough, the 500 gram flour recipe, into this plastic container and I put the lid on and then I proof it in here in bulk. I'll proof this at room temperature and fridge temperature in this box. It takes up a lot less room than the baker's tray. So I'm going to do that now. Forty-eight hours later This is the dough that I've placed 
at room temperature for 24 hours and also it's been in the fridge for 24 hours. This is what it looks like. This is very cold now. So I'll place this dough in a warm room for a few hours to get it back to room temperature and then I'll be able to use it to make pizza. I've got no firm rule on how I proof my dough. I have one day I might just do a 24 hour room proof, another day I'll do a three day cold proof and a 24 hour room proof or I'll do as I've done now 24 hour room, 24 hour fridge. Depends what the weather's like and how much time I've got. So there you are, how I make my pizza dough, simple as that, and now it's ready to be used. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Take care everyone. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com, link is below.